In this video, we're going to look at answering a work plan question. So just like the storyboard question we've done there previously, we're doing the progressive park scenario. So you always get given a client brief. So we've got the new ride is due to open in 12 months time, which is how long it will take to build the roller coaster ride. There'll be four multimedia sections for the reality aspects covering different periods in history. You've got the Victorians, World War II, 1970s and modern times. Each of the multimedia sections will also include video, a soundtrack, and a narration guiding the rider through the history of the UK. The pre-production planning for these four multimedia sections needs to be completed with 10 months remaining on the project. This will then allow the creation of these multimedia sections to be carried out, each with a two month period. There can only be a small production team to keep costs down, so each section needs to be completed before the next one is started, okay? So for this one, it's all about reading the client brief and understanding what you've actually been asked to do. Instead of just sort of going off and want to make your own, your own thing up, all right? So first things first, we think of the question, it says it's, it's got 12 months time to do it, so what you don't do is colour all 12 in. They've already give you some of these extra bits and bobs, so we'll use them. Um, already, so first things first, it says it's going to take 10 months to plan and then create, and it says that um, each of the multimedia sections are going to take two months. So first things first, we need to colour in the first 10 months for the whole project. So if I just quickly go onto my screen share, I can colour in the 10 months. So it's not going to be the best shading. But it doesn't really matter as long as it's clear. So try and do it with a pen, not a pencil, because sometimes when the uh, when they get scanned in for the exam, you go through a big computer, and if it's if it's a bit dodgy, sometimes we can't quite see. Okay, so that's the whole project in ten months. Now it says we need to do two months for each thing, so each era, and we need to make sure we've got all the tasks in there. So first things first, read the client brief, and we've got Victorian. So we had Victorian. W, W2, 1970s, and modern. Now if we've got 10 months, do four things, and it's two months each, assign each one of these two months. So we'll say we'll do the modern one last, so you've got these two. Now because it's a small team, and it says it's gonna be a, they're gonna work on each one separately, there's gonna be no overlaps. So two for this one, two for that one, two for this one, and two for that one, which leaves two for your planning. Okay, so now the way the mark scheme works, we'll just switch my pen to red, is firstly, you get one for it only taking your 10 months, so you get a mark for that. You get a mark for each of your tasks, so all of them that I've written in. You get marks for the um, two months for each, each thing. You get a mark for no overlaps, so that's one, two, three, four, and your final ta uh, mark, sorry, is two marks, two um, months for your planning, because it does say um, that it needs, to be, it needs to be planned first. And that's it for your multimedia questions, uh, so your work plan questions for multimedia. So, naming all your tasks that you get from the brief, doing your overall time plan, doing your two months for each thing, no overlaps, barring the overall new RAD project one and having some time for planning as well.